20. When you are in your secure class web account, in order to add, drop, um, pay your fees, you can see um, and double check what is my W number, what is my email address, zone mail address, student services, financial aid, register for classes, add drop classes, withdraw from classes, pay your fees, view your assessment scores, view your final grades, and view your financial aid. More often than not, you're probably going to use this folder, student services, financial aid, perhaps your personal information to update email addresses, and also to order or activate a parking permit. For this uh, example, we're, today we're going to be going into student services and financial aid to register for classes. So on your second screen for student services, you want to make sure that you check all the different um, folders that might be applicable to you but for today again I'm just gonna use the registration link here you can see that you can select the term in which you want to register for classes uh, add drop withdraw from classes look up any classes to add one thing to keep in mind is that there is another folder down here where you can actually check to see open class reports um, and that what that does is allows you to look for classes either at Las Positas College or Chabot uh, that still currently have open seats available. So let's go in here for add drop, withdraw from classes. They'll automatically come up with select a term. In this example, we're just going to use fall 2013. That's a, available. When you go down uh, the screen, you can see here, okay, for this fall 2013, when are your fees due payment? Now, down here when you add classes, if you know your five-digit CRN number, you can enter it here. If you do not, you can um, select on class search. If you know your five-digit CRN number, you can add it in here and then submit changes. So let's go into class search and it'll give you all the subjects that are available at either Las Positas College or at Chabot. One thing to keep in mind is that when there are two subjects listed, um, make sure that you are selecting the one for LPC, Anthropology LPC. This one that doesn't have any notation, that will mean it's Anthropology courses at Chabot College, CC. Another example would be this one, Administrative Justice, that's coursework at LCC, Chabot, and this one would be Administrative Justice courses at Las Positas College. So let's look at Anthropology at LPC, course selection search um, and then let's choose uh, anthro 1 biological physical anthropology view sections this will give you um, all the courses um, the CRN numbers which I had mentioned earlier the five digit CRN numbers the subjects the course numbers um, which campus it's actually located L denoting that it's going to be all at Las Positas College C stands for Chabot uh, how many credits units this class is worth, the title, the days of when the classes meet, uh, the times. Here I just want you to sh point out that TR stands for Tuesdays and Thursdays. So this Anthropology 1 21898 meets Tuesday, Thursdays from 9.30 a.m. to 10.45 a.m. The capacity of this class is set at 44 maximum. There's actually 44 students already enrolled in this class, and so there's no more open spots. So I can't sign up for it. The waitlist capacity is set at 20, and there are currently 11 students who are on the waitlist trying to get into this class, uh, even though it's full. And so there's nine remaining seats on the waitlist. It tells you who the instructor is going to be, Lauren Hastings. And then if you scroll across your screen to the right, it will tell you the date of when these classes meets and then the room location. So for this class, you notice that there's no box for me to check, so I can't sign up for this class. Um, I'm just going to use this as an example. I'm just going to select this one, 21910, Anthro 13, which is three units. Uh, introduction to Forensic Anthropology that meets on a Thursday from 4 to 650. There's currently um, 20 seats available so I can sign up for this class and so I'll say register. So when you scroll down you can see your current schedule. I'm web registered today uh, for Anthro 13 and it's three units. So remember um, 
I wanted to give you an example of how to get on a wait list. So I'm going to put on here 21898. That's the Anthro 1 class that's full. Make sure you click on Submit Changes. And when you do that, it will tell you um, registration ad error. This class is closed. Uh, there's 11 students on the wait list. And I'm just going to say, yes, put me on the wait list. And then make sure to click on Submit Changes. Whenever there's any actions up here, make sure you always click um, Submit Changes. So now you can see that my current schedule shows that I'm registered for Anthro 13 and I'm waitlist number 12 for Anthro 1. So when it tells me total uh, credit hours and the, how many units I have to pay for, it's only the three units that I'm actually registered for, not the total six because I'm waitlisted for the second class. And um, let's say later on in the course of your class searches, you add into other classes and you decide to drop these two classes. Make sure you uh, drop classes here on the action screen and also make sure to click on submit changes so that it'll save your changes. If you only do it up here, it will not um, submit and save changes. So when you click on here, submit changes, again, it will show you that there are no current schedules because you've dropped both of those classes. Again, one key thing to keep in mind is make sure you uh, pay your fees by the deadline because if you don't pay your fees by the drop deadline, um, the system will automatically drop you from your classes.